stampers this is Lisa with Queen Bee Creations we're going to be creating this adorable card using the Honey Bee bundle and the DSP that comes for free that coordinates with it out of our celebration brochure the Honey Bee bundle consists of this Honey Bee stamp set and then I have over here the set of dies and this is called Detailed B. Remember, every time you purchase them together, the first time they appear in a catalog, you can get them for 10% off. They are in our Occasions catalog. So it's on page 30. So look at all those cute little cards you can make with this bundle. And not just cards, but you can also do other things with them. I think that B is going to be a good size for making more of my scissor charms. I make these for people to put onto their stamp or scissors when they're at class so that we can all tell ours apart. We're going to need to start out with a piece of basic black cardstock. This is just your standard card base, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then I have a layer of the foil at five and a quarter by four. And then I have a layer of the 5 and 1 8 by 3 and 7 8 designer series paper. 3 and a quarter by 4 and a half, again of the foil. And then 3 and an eighth by 4 and an eighth of the designer series paper. The designer series paper is free with a $50 order. Remember, we are in celebration, so now is the perfect time to be stocking up on your Stampin' Up! supplies because we get such a great deal with this um, level one gift of $50 each um, for each $50 purchase. And for a $100 purchase, you either get two level ones or a level two, which is something a little bigger, like, say, a die set, for free. Can't beat that, right? But they are while supplies last, so you want to make sure that you um, get in on this before whatever you're looking at disappears. I went ahead and did a lot of the die cutting already, so you didn't have to watch me do that. But I am going to show you the stamping. Like I said, for this card, I have my die cut um, pieces of honeycomb, and that's a die that's in the Detail B set. And if you'll notice, I die cut them out of the middle of this layer. This is a great way to save money on your supplies because when I mount this on the card and then I start putting my layers over the top of it, you're not even going to notice that there's holes underneath there. So I was able to utilize most of my um, gold foil. Now this one I could. I could do another one out of that and set it aside and you know have something to set aside they also have this great B that might be a good thing to cut out of that um, the detailed B that would look really pretty in a gold so like I said those are my pieces I went ahead and got started by stamping I brought in my stamp apparatus because we're using a solid stamp and I often like to use my stamp apparatus with these because when they're solid like that, there's a good chance that you're not get going to get a really good even impression. So this will allow us to do that. I've got our pieces all cut out. I gave you those measurements and now we're going to be doing our stamping. And like I said, I brought in the stamp apparatus so that I can pick this up and then I'm going to stamp right here. And the beauty of it is, like, see, I come in here and I ink this up and I miss a whole section. See how that's not a very good stamped image? I can come back in and ink it again and stamp it in exactly, exactly the same spot. And so I'm able to darken that up and not lose all the detail of my stamp. So oftentimes if you're doing something that's really solid like this and you want to be able to make sure you've got a good solid impression, you know, silhouettes and, you know, things like that, then this would be the perfect tool for doing that. 
And this is on a thick Whisper White cardstock. Because I'm going to be punching them out and I wanted them to be able to be pretty sturdy. Our regular Whisper White is nice and thin, which is great because it keeps down the weight and the bulkiness of our cards when I use it as an inside layer. But because this is raised on Stampin' Dimensionals, I went ahead and used our thick Whisper White cardstock. So that's what this is. And I'm going to go ahead and just stamp the B with a block because I need three of them. And then I would have taken these over to the die cutting machine and cut them out. So through the beauty of computers and my planning ahead, oh, congratulations, I almost never do that. <laughs> We're going to have our stuff already die cut. Then I wanted to make the bees look a little more realistic. And so I, because this was stamped in crushed curry, I brought in my crushed curry marker. And then I'm just going to color the yellow parts of the bee using the brush tip end of my marker. And then I'm going to come in with my Wink of Stella. This is a clear Wink of Stella because the wings on a honeybee are usually clear, but because they're so wet, and they're nice and shiny. And so using the Wink of Stella gives them just a little bit of sparkle, as if they were real wings. I love the detail of this stamp because it gets the, I don't know what you call them, the veins or the little lines inside of their wings. You can totally see them. I'll bring this up for you. See what a great little impression we get and how detailed the bee is. I think that's just great. I don't know if you're catching the shimmer, but it does have Wink Costello on the wings. When these punch out, they're already, um, the little pieces are cut out of the middle. Now you can choose to leave them out or you can choose to put a couple back in. For my card, I'm gonna put a couple back in. So I'll show you how I do that. So I'm just gonna start putting my card together. I'm gonna take my basic black card base and then my gold foil. Okay, so I have just a eighth of an inch border around this one. Normally I do quarter inch borders, but I wanted something a little smaller for this since I'm doing so many layers. And then I use the same designer series paper, just the other side. This paper is awesome. Again, like I said, it's free as a level one hostess gift. And you get this entire pack of designer series paper. They're all double sided. So lots of pretty designs. And then on the back, they're black and white. And see, that's a standard. These all have gold foil in them, which makes them really pretty. They sparkle. And then that's the one that on the back side has the honeybees. So most of this is honeybee related. But if you don't have the honeybee set, you can still use the bees on our paper. Or you can use the other side. This is just flowers and stripes and little designs um, in black and white. So. You know, I mention that because in our holiday catalogs, we often have things that are, you know, Valentine's Day, Christmas, whatever. And after the holiday's over, we kind of shove that designer series paper aside, thinking there's nothing we can do with it now that the holiday's over. But that's not necessarily true. I've found that almost all of our designer series papers, if they have a Christmas, you know, theme on one side, the other side's gonna be fairly neutral. And so before you put those too far down in your pile, you want to make sure that you go take a look and see what the other side of the paper has, and maybe you can use it with some current cards. So just a little tip. I also want to point out, some of you know it and some of you don't, but always look at our designer series papers and the bundle that goes with it. 
and take a peek and maybe the dies cut something out of the paper. So I don't know if you can see this, but if I lay these dies on top of the designer series paper, they will cut images out. That die fits perfectly over this B and will cut it out. So there's this one here, there's the big one there, and then the little one's cut out with this as well. So remember that. I love that Stampin' Up! is doing that. It makes them like so much more useful. Because sometimes there's designs that are a little more intricate than the bees are and they would take a long time to color, but if you don't have that much time to pull your project together, it would be great if you could just die cut them out of the um, paper and not have to worry about coloring them. Okay, so back to our card. And again, if you wanted to save paper, I would die cut something out of the middle of this before you use it as a layer so that you make the most of your paper. But being in a hurry today, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it together. Good thing I get a discount, huh? Don't forget, if you would like a discount, that we have a great deal going on right now with our Stampin' Up! demonstrator kit. And don't panic that they call it a demonstrator kit. We can also call it the ultimate bundle or the happy shopper discount. But basically you just sign up as a demo and from um, you would get $125 worth of um, Stampin' Up! product and you choose it. They don't choose it for you. You pick out $125 worth of stuff and then pay $99 with free shipping. But because it's celebration, they're gonna add in this adorable little guillotine trimmer a sampling of our designer series paper out of the occasions book and a stamp set of your choice. Normally for this stamp set, I recommend the well said uh, because it's $45. And so you can add a $45 value to your kit um, and get up to, I think it's $210 when I added it all together, the value of everything you can get in a kit. And then it's free shipping. And then after that, you get a 20% discount till at least the end of July. So you have a good six months to enjoy 20% off of whatever you purchase. There's no obligations, and if you decide that you wanted to just drop at that point, no big deal. You've enjoyed your discount, we all had a good time, you're fine. Um, and if you wanted to sign up again later, all you do is you pick out a new kit. It's a great way to buy a lot of supplies. So if you have a really long wish list and you're looking to save some money, that might be a thing to consider. Okay, so now I'm back to my cart. I keep getting distracted, don't I? There's just so many exciting things with Stampin' Up! I just love how they're always giving us great stuff to talk about and to share with you guys. Hopefully you're on my newsletter and you're finding out about this stuff ahead of time. Also, all of my customers that purchase through me should have a catalog. If you don't have this current catalog, let me know. That would be an error because everybody who's ordered from me in the last year was put on my list and a catalog was mailed out. Occasionally we have some issues with the Postal Service, so if you don't have yours, let me know. And if you're a new to me customer and you don't already have a demonstrator, that's another reason to give me a shout out and say you want a catalog because I do give them away for free. It's not something you should have to pay for. So I'm just adding some glue to the back. You can use your fine tip glue pin or you can set this on top of your silicone mat and um, run the snail over it. You can apply the Tombow glue with a sponge. Um, there's lots of different ways that you can adhere these to your card. I have our fine tip glue pen and I, I use it, but I also use my little eraser. I know we don't carry it anymore, but I have what we call an adhesive remover eraser. And that lets me just rub it over the top and remove any glue. And it doesn't work with the fine tip glue pen, but it does work with my Tombow glue. So I found a fine tip bottle just on like Etsy or something, and then filled it with the Tombow glue. So I still have that little tiny end to apply my pieces. Uh, let's put a couple more centers back in. I'm trying to be random. Remember, I have a hard time with that. 
too many years of accounting. Hopefully you're also, when you um, join on to my newsletter, you can sign up from the base page of my website. But if you go into the join the newsletter or sign up for my newsletter out of the menu bar, it allows you to give me your address and birthday. And I have been sending everybody who gives me their um, address and birthday a birthday card. So if you want to receive, <laughs> hi Denise, how fun. If you want to receive a birthday card from me in the mail, or maybe even just a thank you for joining me here on Facebook and giving me a shout out and some comments so that this gets um, a little more viewers, I would appreciate that. And then I will send you out a card. Okay, so now I have my little honey bee hive. And I'm going to put this on with Stampin' Dimensionals. But these are our mini Stampin' Dimensionals. These are great for items that are small, so you don't have to cut up our other Stampin' Dimensionals. And again, still, I want to remind you, don't throw away the edges because we can still use these to pop things up. We want to make the most of all of our supplies. Okay, so I'm just going to place this down here. And then I've got my honeybees. Like I said, I use the crushed curry marker to color in the yellow, and then I hit it with the Wink of Stella on the wings to give them a little bit of sparkle. And then I'm just gonna have them floating around the hive. Now I figured it needed a little something, and normally I have a greeting on the outside of all of my cards, and I could stamp something there, but I don't know, it just didn't seem right. So what I did, um, there also, there wasn't enough room for me to do like a black circle and then a white circle over it so I could stamp in black. So I saved some space by just stamping in Versamark ink and using gold embossing powder and then heating it up with the heat tool. This one, you'll notice, I got a little off center. Now, when we do those sorts of things, we usually get all frustrated and think everybody's going to think the card's ruined and we throw those pieces away. But really, we're our own worst critics, and I don't think somebody receiving this in the mail is really going to notice. But my putting the little gems or the little enamel dots around it kind of makes it look like I put it up there on purpose. So keep that in mind. If there's you know ever a boo-boo on your card, it's not really a boo-boo. It's a ch chance to embellish. So... Um, and then, like I said, I went ahead and did this ahead of time. This one I got a little better centered. So there's the outside of our card. Now we still need to do a little something to the inside. I always decorate the insides of my card, especially when they're dark colors, because unless you have a white or a silver or gold um, pen, you can't write on this word blue or black and see it. So you would come in with a piece of Whisper White and then you're going to decorate that up. Now I also want to point out that you want to stamp this before you adhere it to your card because if there's, again, a little boo-boo, then we flip it over and we do the other side. Now in order to make this coordinate with the outside, I think what I'm going to do is bring in my Stampin' Trimmer. Do you guys have one of these yet? These are awesome. The blade is so much bigger than our other one and it stays sharp for so much longer. Okay, now you notice I kept this really long. I'm gonna go ahead and put my adhesive on the back. And then I'm gonna let it hang over both ends. And I do that because I wanna make sure that it goes all the way to the ends. I, sure, I can try to cut this to exactly four inches and I could be off by like a 16th of an inch. And again, my accounting background makes that bug the heck out of me. So I would rather make it a little bit long and trim off so that I know that that strip fits exactly. And then again, I'm gonna come in with our little honeybee since that's what we had on the front. And let's put him down here in the corner. And then let's take some glue dots. And I've got some of these leftover hexagons from our hive. And so I'm just gonna balance this out by adding a few more in here. 
Now on the outside, I said thank you. So on the inside, why don't we do thinking of you, sweet friend. I use my grid paper to help me line this up to make sure that my stamp is straight. And then I'm going to put my block over the top. And if I keep the stamp and my block straight, hopefully I'm going to be stamping straight on my card. That's the theory. So there we go. There's the inside of our card. So now we're ready. Now that I'm happy with it, there's no little boo-boos I need to cover up. We can go ahead and adhere this to the inside of the card. Would somebody like me to send them this card? If you would like to receive one of these in the mail, just let me know and I will send one out. So I hope you enjoyed today's project and that you um, come back and visit me again next Monday. We always make something fun um, and I give you full instructions and after I'm done I edit it up a little bit and I put it out on my YouTube channel so make sure you're subscribed over there as well. Make sure that you order your supplies from me and get those free celebration items and my monthly PDF of instructions to six more cards. So thank you for joining me and I will see you next Monday at 2.30. Thanks. Bye.